okay here it says let a and b be distinct real numbers that means there are different real numbers we should solve the equation and remember i said that whenever you're asked to solve an equation it means we should find the value of uh, the missing number so here a and b are actually missing but they've told us that they are real numbers so we shouldn't bother about those meaning we should find the value of uh, x okay so let's quickly look at it now if you look at the equation we are given you would see that the left hand side is uh, made up of sorts and so if i one of the ways i can tackle this is to square both sides if i square both sides it will get this equation more complicated because of this minus sign so if it was only one uh, uh, square root then if i square both sides then it takes away the square root on the left so but because of this minus sign and two square roots here so it will get the equation more complicated so what's a simple thing i would have to do okay so what I'm going to do is to see if it is possible to take the conjugate of the left hand side. And of course, yes, I can. To, uh, and to take the conjugate, I will multiply the, the numerator. Of course, I can form a fraction on this. So I will simply you know, multiply the numerator by the conjugate of this uh, numerator and also do the same for the denominator. Meanwhile, the conjugate is just to change this to positive. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So here I'm going to have the square root of uh, x minus b squared minus the square root of x minus a squared. Now is multiple, uh, multiplied by the conjugate, which is the square root of x minus b squared plus the square root of x minus a squared okay so and then in the denominator we will now have of course i can see cancel it out and i will get what i have now my right hand side will still be a minus b so what can we do here so of course you know because these are difference of two squares you have plus minus here and you have plus here so all we will do now is uh, of course Whenever you have a minus b multiplied by a plus b, this is the same thing as a squared minus b squared. So I'm going to square this one and then minus the square of this, that's all. So that's going to now give us, so by the time I do that, the denominator will still be x minus b squared. Okay, so remember your right hand side will still be a minus b. Okay, so at this point, of course, you know the square here will take away the square root. The same will happen here. So this, the numerator is then going to give us all equal to a minus b. Okay, so from here, what are we going to do? We will try to now open this bracket. And by the time we open this bracket, we will get minus x plus a squared. So, and the minus x will cancel this one. And so what we now will get will be a squared will be positive. So let's bring it to the front. Then minus b squared all over. Okay, this is equal to a minus b. Okay, now meanwhile, from the numerator, you can see that that is difference of two squares. So that's the same thing as a plus b, you know, into the bracket of a minus b. And that is all over a squared, sorry, x minus b squared. So what are we now trying to achieve? Remember, our interest is to get x. So we we'll try to simplify as much as possible. So if I divide both sides of the equation by a minus b, this will take away this. So here you will just have only one left. So this is then going to give us the numerator will now be a plus b all over the square root of x minus b squared. Okay. Okay, so and this is equal to one. So at this point, of course, you know, this is one over one. And so it means we can cross multiply. And so if I cross multiply, 
I am going to then get this one will go this way and this will go this way. So I will have x minus b squared uh, and then plus the square root of x minus a squared is equal to a plus b. Okay, so at this point, uh, it means now I have two equations that look alike. I can call this equation 1, while the one that was given to me, that's this guy, I can call it equation 1. Okay, now what we are going to do, you can see that the equation 1 actually looks exactly like equation 2. So the only difference is that our equation 2 is here is addition, while the equation 1 is... Uh, um, subtraction why here you also have addition of these two so this is our equation two now so at this point what we are now going to do is to look for now how to reduce the radicals that we have and one of the ways we can do that we can see that this one now has negative why the equation two has positive so if I sum these two equations I will end up uh, eliminating this one and if I subtract if I subtract, I will eliminate these two. Okay, so it's my choice to choose what to do. And I think I want to add. Okay, so let me quickly write it here and then I'll take it down. So if I add this, I will then have two of these. That's this is adding to this. So I'll have two root x minus b squared. Uh, of course, this will turn to zero. And then if I'm adding this side, we are going to have a plus a and that will give us 2a, and then minus b will cancel plus b. Okay, so this is what we'll now have. So with this, we should be able to solve and to get, of course, I can push it further here. This will cancel this. So this is going to give me the square root of x minus b squared to be equal to a. Okay, so I will now try to solve that. Okay, so from that, I have square root of x minus b squared equal to a so at this point i can take the square root to the other side and that will give me x minus b squared is equal to a squared therefore my x alone is simply equal to a squared plus b squared and that is the solution to this problem so if we have the values of a and b whatever they are once you substitute them you then get the value of your x. All right, so this is where we end it for this video. Kindly give a thumbs up to this video if you like it and do subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our videos and channel to your friends. We will see you in our next video. Bye.